Well, I think it's a it's a start, uh, you know, of, of something new. Our post the World Cup, and um, uh, I think it's it's uh, it's an important start for India. Um, yes, they played in in Zimbabwe, but uh, uh, I think uh, you know, obviously, traveling with the team and 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 being the first tour of any coach or, or any leadership group, um, you know, will will take time to settle down. I think as 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 fans and as supporters and lovers of Indian cricket, um, we need to give them that time to kind of settle down. um and and uh, fall into a rhythm so to speak um so i think uh, this one's going to be an exciting tour to just see how how the, the team kind of functions in this new in this new infrastructure well i don't think we should be we should be comparing it you know i think we, we understand the kind of player suri kumar is as in we are yet to discover the kind of leader suri surya will be so i think to give to keep an open mind and expect and you know hope for the best for someone like surya because uh, the 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 batter suri kumar yadav has been second to none uh, he's been an incredible batter and someone who's been such an important cog in this indian cricket team uh, especially in t20 cricket one of the best t20 batters in the world um, arguably arguably ever um, you know he's uh, you know he's kind of grown by leaps and bounds over the last um, you know over the last 5 uh, 7 year, 5 7 years and uh, you know we understand and know that his rapo with someone like a like a gotham gambhir is is phenomenal and uh, you know you know that uh, the, the, their their combination perhaps will will work really well with each other um uh, i think it's a matter of time to to kind of uh, uh, you know see how how they do well but just hope for the best for the two of them as as a lead, leadership group because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of choice there's a lot of quality uh that's out there as far as any cricket is concerned um i think so just to kind of exercise patience uh as they go into the as they go into this into this venture together well i think sanju is was part of the world cup side yeah so you know i think uh, uh it's not it's not easy to to be a part it's not easy to be a part of the world the world cup team now uh, it's a huge achievement in itself just to find yourself as a as a member of the world cup team and sanju's been a part of the world cup winning side uh, yes albeit he didn't get to play a game in that um but he was there um so i think uh, they have picked him uh, unfortunately for him i think the biggest challenge for someone like sanju is the fact that uh, you can't find a spot for him that he can consistently uh, play at you know uh, you know batting position for someone like him is uh, you know we all know sanju bats best at number 3 um maximum number 4 uh and that's been a hard one to find for sanju samson within this indian team um and it's a it's a problem that sanju is not the first one to experience in indian cricket and won't be the last one to experience in indian cricket we've all been through it uh you know so uh, you got to take it in your stride and i think sanju has done fairly well with the opportunities that's come his way and uh, we all know how how all of us fans love sanju and support sanju from the outside and i think it's a uh you know he'll he'll get his he'll get his opportunities but when these opportunities do come in that position that he does thrive in he needs to grab those opportunities and leave no stone unturned to cement that position there when the opportunities do come well there are you know there's there's, there's, there's so much there's so much quality and so much so many options to pick from um you know the likes of uh, the likes of ruturaj gaikwad and and uh, abhishek uh, sharma have missed out uh you know in from this t20 uh, t20 i squad um but the quality of uh, shubman gill uh, and uh, yashasvi jaiswal both didn't get to play in the world cup uh and i think shubman gill is a world cup quality player i think uh, you know he deserves to be a world cup winner um if you think of some of the players who missed out on this world cup for me those names that immediately come up is uh, you know obviously shubman gill kl rahul i think these guys are guys who you know um are incredibly talented players uh and someone who are such important players in in the indian cricket narrative ki uh that i feel like these are players who deserve to win a world cup as well and missed out uh, and i think that this this is a fact that they will know so quality is never going to be an issue for for india it's about finding uh it's about them finding themselves in the, in the in those in those places to be able to uh you know stack up performances at the right time to be at the right place um and i think that uh, you know uh, a great start post the world cup is shubman gill and yashasvi jaiswal at uh, at the top of the order i do believe that uh, ritu and uh, you know abhishek's uh, time will come uh, i think it's a matter of time well uh, that i didn't anticipate that question coming uh, 
Um, I'm enjoying my cricket. Um, you know, I'm, uh, unfortunately for me, uh, current leagues uh, aren't happening uh, for me. Although, even though I'm available, uh, in fact, one of the reasons I retired is that so that I could play a lot more cricket. Um, you know, in India, because of the rules that are there, um, I can only play uh, as a current Indian player. You can't play leagues outside of India, uh, and I wanted to experience that as an as a student of the game. Uh, I wanted to experience that cricket and play competitive cricket uh, all over the world. Uh, but unfortunately, for some reason, that um, you know, we have to retire from all forms of Indian cricket to be able to make ourselves available to play the cricket outside of India. Um, and I think the narrative that sticks for some reason is that oh, he's retired, so he's not necessarily interested. But it's quite the opposite for me, um, you know, which is why I'm keeping myself as fit as I can be and hoping to play as much cricket as uh, that I can play. Uh, unfortunately, the only current cricket I am playing at the moment is T10 cricket, but I'm hoping that uh, I get to play T20 cricket as well, um, and I'm hoping that uh, those opportunities do come. Um, and till they do come, I'm trying to play as many uh, as 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 much cricket and whatever comes my way, uh, which is why I find myself playing these Legends leagues. Uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to play with your uh, you know your your teammates from from the past, and it's a lot of fun. And I really had a lot of fun playing with the likes of Irfan and Yusuf and. I do and Rana and Uvi, Uvi, Uvipa and Bajupa. Um, you know, it, it felt like uh, we went back 20 years and we were just, you know, those little kids again who were coming up through the ranks. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping to play a lot more current cricket as well. Maybe not now. Uh, I certainly would enjoy the responsibility to do to be able to serve Indian cricket in a, in a different in a different way. Um, and uh, you know, a team environment is something I truly enjoy. Um, but uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, at this point in time, I'd love to spend time with my kids right now, my family right now. I have a very young family, uh, and I understand the responsibilities that it takes to uh, to to serve your country. Uh, and today, I feel, um, I, and I believe that time will come. Um, I think um, uh, in the, in the, in the in the future, maybe not in the immediate future, but definitely in the future, is something I would be very keen on. Yes, I will. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, it's it's something that uh, Sri Lanka is, is a place I've always enjoyed, um, and uh, uh, going out there and watching these young cricketers trying to make a, a, a space for themselves within the uh, you know within that the new ecosystem is something that I'll, I'll enjoy following.